Stephen Hawking's inspiring journey from disability to genius. Welcome to our video on the remarkable journey of Stephen Hawking, a man who overcame seemingly insurmountable obstacles to achieve greatness. Despite facing significant challenges in his life, Hawking went on to become one of the most renowned and influential scientists of our time. From his early struggles to his groundbreaking work on the origins of the universe, Hawking's story is one of determination, perseverance, and genius. So join us as we explore the inspiring life and legacy of Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking was born on January 8, 1942 in Oxford, England. Hawking grew up as the eldest of four children in a household that could be best described as eccentric. His parents were both intellectuals and Oxford graduates, and they preferred to spend their time deep in books and conducting experiments, like keeping a beehive in the basement and making homemade fireworks in the backyard. During his younger years, Hawking was quite active and enjoyed climbing trees and playing with his younger sisters. He also had a love for the stars and would spend long nights laying on his back and gazing up at them. However, his father studied medicine and wanted Hawking to follow in his footsteps. But it became clear early on that Hawking had a passion for science and the sky. Though he attended several schools during his formative years, he didn't learn to read properly until he was eight years old. He also received average grades while attending St. Albans School and was more interested in board games than academics. Even though it wasn't conventional, his peers recognized his intelligence and nicknamed him Einstein. Stephen met his future wife, Jane Wilde, at a party in 1962, and the two started dating and enjoying life together. For a time, it appeared Stephen Hawking was on the right path. But then, tragically, one year later, at the age of 21, Hawking was diagnosed with a motor neuron disease, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, or ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. This is a type of disease that affects the cells in the brain and spinal cord, which controls the muscles in the body. These cells, called motor neurons, send signals from the brain to the muscles telling them to move. With motor neuron disease, the motor neurons stop working properly and eventually die. When this happens, the muscles in the body can't move or work the way they should, and the person with the disease may eventually become paralyzed. In Stephen Hawking's case, the disease slowly paralyzed him and he eventually lost the ability to walk and use his arms. However, he was still able to communicate through a computer that he controlled with small movements of his head. Hawking persevered and went on to have a successful career in physics and mathematics. He became a household name and was a source of inspiration for people all over the world. And despite knowing that their relationship would be full of challenges due to his shortened life expectancy and physical limitations, the couple became engaged to marry the following year. And marry they did in a beautiful ceremony in their shared hometown of St. Albans in 1965. If you have been enjoying this video, our YouTube data shows 1% of our viewers aren't subscribed and it looks like that's you. So do us a huge favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss another video. After earning his degree from Oxford, Hawking went on to study at Cambridge University where he completed his PhD and began his academic career. It was at Cambridge where he made his most significant contributions to the field of physics. Even while facing significant challenges in his personal life, Hawking remained dedicated to his work and made a lasting impact on the world of physics. His early experiences laid the foundation for his later achievements and established him as a leading figure in the world of science. He is perhaps best known for his work on black holes and the theory of relativity, and he wrote several popular science books that helped make his work accessible to the general public. A Brief History of Time, which was published in 1988, became a bestseller and is considered one of the most iconic books of the 20th century. In total, Hawking wrote 15 books, 
including a briefer history of time and the universe in a nutshell. Now that's what we call making a big bang in the world of science. Throughout his marriage, Hawkins and his wife had three children together, Robert, Lucy and Timothy, and they worked through the demands of Hawking's illness and physical limitations. The couple remained devoted to each other and to their shared love of science and intellectual pursuits. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. In the 1980s, Hawkins grew close to one of his nurses, Elaine Mason, and eventually left Jane to marry Mason in 1995. Jane was heartbroken but she remained devoted to her children and her own pursuits, eventually completing a PhD in medieval Spanish poetry. No, seriously, she's not just a pretty face. Unfortunately, the marriage was marred by allegations of physical abuse by Elaine towards Hawking. The couple filed for divorce in 2006, and Hawking later reconciled with his ex-wife and his initial family. He also worked with his daughter, Lucy, to write science-themed novels for children. Despite his failing health and the breakdown of his second marriage, Hawking never lost his sense of humor. He once quipped, The downside of my celebrity is that I cannot go anywhere in the world without being recognized. It's not enough for me to wear dark sunglasses and a wig. The wheelchair gives me away. In 2007, Hawking achieved a lifelong goal of experiencing zero gravity bringing him one step closer to his dream of traveling in space. He also had plans to fly to the edge of space as one of Sir Richard Branson's pioneer space tourists. And in 2011, he participated in a trial of a new device called the Eye Gaze, which was designed to read a person's thoughts by detecting electrical brain signals. Hawking also made an appearance on the TV show The Big Bang Theory in 2012, and in 2014, he watched the film The Theory of Everything and left a review stating, Unfortunately, Eddie did not inherit my good looks. In 2014, Hawking joined other top scientists in speaking out about the potential dangers of artificial intelligence, AI, calling for more research to be done on the topic. He warned about the potential for AI to surpass human intelligence and become a threat to humanity much like in the Terminator film series. Hawking remained active and engaged with the world around him until his death in 2018. He left behind a significant legacy in the fields of science and mathematics, and his wit and humor will be remembered by many. If you enjoyed watching this video, then make sure you watch this one.